Reform Tomboy here. Uh, this is my introduction to my Arabic Nights X Sparkage inspired look. Um, put down my setup before I recorded my intro again. But as you can see, I took it a step further. I had the Arabic lining. I'm actually kind of surprised she didn't do that, but you know, she is a great makeup artist and I'm just glad to take some of inspiration off of her and do my own look. So if you guys can try this, I think that it's such a fun look. By the way, I know why I couldn't do cut creases very well before. My eyes are actually hooded, so that makes it a little bit harder, if not impossible, but I think that this look was still very well pulled off, and uh, here's the tutorial. Okay, so as usual, you want to start with a nude eyeshadow base. I'm using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot with my finger to both warm up the product and to spread it evenly on my eyelid all the way up to the brow. You know, just be uh, very gentle here. The next step is to take a pencil. Here I'm using Teddy Eye Coal by MAC. It's kind of a bronzy pencil. And you want to sketch out your cut crease right above your natural crease. Take your time sketching from the um, end of your eye into the inner corner of your eye until you're satisfied with the shape that you have. It doesn't have to be really neat because we take care of that in the next step, which is to take a pencil brush and see how messy it is there? But no, you just smooth that out from here until you're satisfied with the shape you have again. See how easy it is to smooth out that shape? So that in the next step, you can take a uh, tapered blending brush like the 217 from MAC and Espresso. It's just a dark matte brown from MAC. And you can start by applying the most color to the outermost corner of your eye and blending it into the innermost corner of your eye. And then also, out, just blend the snot out of this color. We'll do some more blending later, but you know, never hurts. The next step is to take a flat shader brush and the color Amber Lights, load up the brush, and pat and smooth that all over your lid, the naked lid. Try to keep it away from the espresso, you know, be very careful. We're going to fix that, of course, if you do make a mistake, but just uh, get the right pigmentation that you want. It should look pretty pigmented. I don't think this is a shy color, really, so uh, take your time with this. Next, you want to take a slanted eyeliner brush and espresso again. And this is going to correct any errors you had with the amber lights by sketching out that cut crease again and blending up. Reload your brush over and over and over again in order to get that strong line. Then connect from the espresso cut crease all the way down to your lower lash line. This is going to have some continuity to the look and all that, um, but yeah. Next you want to blend out your crease color with soft brown, another tapered blending brush, and blend, blend, blend. It is so essential to blend out this crease color because it is so strong. So take your time with this step also. So then you can take your brow highlight, here I'm using Vanilla Chance by Facefront Cosmetics in a 224 blending brush right underneath my eyebrow, smoothing out the last of my blending errors. The next step is to take your um, eyeliner, here I'm using Max Fluid Line in Black Track, and a slanted eyeliner brush, this is going to be the most effective for the Arabic eyeliner, tracing a line from the inner corner of my eye to the outer corner. Should be, you know, whatever thickness you're um, most comfortable with, but the most important part is that point that you can create with the tip of that slanted eyeliner brush. Take your time here, make sure both sides are even and everything. Now here I kind of lost um, video, it, my camera turned off, but you want to add black eyeliner to your waterline, curl and add mascara to your lashes, and I added a coral lip color to my lips like X Sparkage did. That's the final look, and enjoy!